your experience of singing 1930s and 40s music? Well, I've been with the orchestra now for about seven or eight years, and uh, we've been working doing all the 1920s and 30s arrangements. I have a great passion for the British dance band music, and uh, of course, the most famous singer of all in the 1930s, Mr. Al Bowley. Unfortunately, there's not enough people that, that hear this music, and with the orchestra, we get a great chance to let people hear that what them sounds sounded like from that era. Also, we do 1940s events without the orchestra all over the country and in Europe as well, and they're very, very popular. And my daughter, within the last three years, Natasha, has actually got into the 1930s and the 1940s and is now a 1930s and 40s entertainer in her own right. Um, my dad asked me to sing in Haworth, um, and I just did it because I thought, you know, it would be, be a bit of extra money and good performance experience, and I did the weekend, and I absolutely fell in love with the period. Um, and then it's just spiralled out of control from there, really. It's brought up on all those musicals, so, yeah, the music means a lot to me. Big fans of uh, Doris Day and Judy Garland and everybody else like that. I'm a massive uh, collector of the clothing now, I have a massive wardrobe full of the clothes um, and yes I absolutely love the music, it's, uh, it was an era when I think music was written for proper singers um, and they could really sing. Get your heart to them, like I get mine to you, and they smash the little pieces, now what good do you do? Well you lie awake to sing to the blues all night. I get Yeah. 